Okay, this is the last example from lesson six. So um, we're looking at applications again of quadratic functions. I know you guys don't have the graphing calculators, so um, we're only going to do about half of this problem. Let's look at this example. Tim throws a football into the air at an initial height of six feet. The table below shows the estimated height of the football at various times during the path the ball followed. Answer a few questions first. So we're going to do one through five here. Between what times do you think the ball reached its maximum height? So here it's going up, 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 down, 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 down. So somewhere between when it changes from going up to going down, it's going to um, be reaching its maximum height. Okay, so sometime between, um, so between what two times? So between 1.5 seconds and two seconds because the height changes from increasing to decreasing. So it changes from going up to going down. What would you estimate the maximum height to be? Um, I would guess probably around like about 15 feet. Sketch a graph of this data. So let's first sketch the graph. Okay, um, we're going to have time here and height here. So I'm going to count, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14, 16, 18. So at zero, it's at six feet. At 0 0.5, it's at 8.5. At one, it's at 10 feet. At 1.5, it's at 15 feet. At two, it's at 13 feet. At 2.5, it's at 10 feet. At 3, it's at 6 feet. At 3.5, it's at 3 feet. And at 4, it's at 1.5 feet. So you can see that this is like almost a parabola. It is definitely not linear because it goes up and then it comes back down. So why is a quadratic model the best? Because the height goes up and then back down. Which is the independent variable? Which is the dependent variable? The independent variable is time because the independent variable is always, or time is always the independent variable. If you have time in something, it has to be the independent variable. Um, it's time because time never depends on anything. You can't change time, so it's the independent variable. Which is the dependent variable? Height. Because height depends on time. The height at 1 is different than the height at 2. So the height uh, is dependent on what the time is. Um, that's all we're going to do for this one. Um, we are not going to do any of the quadratic regression. Um, don't worry about it. It is not on your quiz. Okay.